Hi everybody, it's Sean Seymour with 358 Studios and I got a lot of requests for this one after I did a video with a four light solution using the 1610 Pelican case. So I love this one because it's easy to travel with. You get your cords, radio slaves, and two lights into this case. The case that I use is a still a Pelican case, although the one I'm showing you is uh, their Storm case. It's a 1510 or a 1525. So here we go, get ready to pluck some foam. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna line up your lights, to make sure that um, they fit in the case the way you want them to. I'm gonna use them sideways and all the way down on the bottom you need to pull the last uh, piece of foam out but also it is directional so make sure that you're using the right direction when you line this thing up so i line up the um, lights using the most foam that i can with the most protection that i can get plus a little bit of spot for the cords now where i'm pointing to right now i'm going to use for the radio slave area I'm making a quick impression on the foam so that I can then take my Sharpie and mark around the areas that I'm gonna actually pluck. Once you get everything marked, go ahead and pull the lights out, pull the foam out. A lot of people like to use scissors. I think they're a pain in the butt. I love the hands, they work really quick and they pluck the foam really fast and, and uh, exactly, I guess you could say. If you screw up, don't worry about it. Go ahead and just put it back in place. The reason I screwed up here is I plucked this foam piece thinking I was gonna have to have um, a space for the screw in the top, the umbrella holder, and I didn't, not on this level. So here I'm working on level two, plucking out the foam. This time I am going to make room for the uh, screws in the top go ahead and double check pluck 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 after you get everything down you're gonna go do that again for the next level next we got to put in the radio slaves I tried all kinds of different locations but uh, with wanting the cords at the top of the case the radio slaves naturally just kind of fell into this corner down towards the bottom so mark where you want them go ahead and pluck the foam you only need to pluck two squares each. And with just one layer, they're obviously too tall. So you're gonna go ahead and mark it with a pen and pluck the next layer down, which funny enough is gonna make it too deep because you'll see that you can't get the radios out. At least I can't with my big meat hook type fingers. So the next thing I did in order to fill up some of that is I took some of my plucked foam and I uh, cut it in half, put it down the holes, which made it a perfect height for me next thing we have to take into account is where are we going to put the cords i chose to put the cords up at the top rather than the bottom so that there wasn't so much sag i didn't want the lights and everything else sagging into the bottom of the case where the wheels are located i didn't even leave the foam at the top of the case there i just cut it off it was a lot easier next thing you're going to do is you're going to secure these layers with a little black gaffer tape that helps with the daily wear and tear and also keeps the layers from sliding around make sure that you have the seam of the tape at the bottom so that um, it doesn't get pulled loose well i hope that you found this video helpful please subscribe to our channel and like this video thank you very much and have a great day